tell us more about the Ageless program and why does it differ from for the men and the women? We created the Ageless program for specific individuals who are suffering from hormonal imbalance. So this could start as early as in your teens. So for instance, uh, young women could experience dysmenorrhea. Mm -hmm. That's actually a hormonal imbalance. So as we age, with exposure to chemicals in the environment and because of uh, things that we get from our food, this causing hormonal imbalances in both sexes. So it can manifest different ways. Like for instance, in women who are undergoing menopause, they experience like hot flashes, night sweats, and lack of uh, sex drive. Mm. In men, the change is more gradual. It doesn't happen suddenly like what you experience in women. So in men, the decline is so slow that sometimes the symptoms are very uh, mild. Mm -mm. That like, you don't notice it. Exactly. Yeah. Sometimes the first symptom of andropause in men could be a heart attack. Yeah, this is because, again, men sometimes take symptoms for granted and women are more like in touch with their bodies. bodies. They're more mm -hmm. uh, conscious about their health. That's why when you experience something, you usually go to doctors right away. Yeah. <laughs> okay, everybody wants to talk about ageless programs, mm -hmm. but who are qualified for the treatment? I know that you said mm -hmm. that everybody experiences hormonal mm -hmm. imbalances, but what is the right age, I guess, or the right time? Yeah. So actually, people could experience premature aging. Uh, there are people who, let's say, are in their teens, but they look older. Um, in fact, uh, guys could experience hair loss sometimes in their late teens. So the process of aging actually could start anytime. Actually, every day we, we tend to age. We age, basically. Yeah. Yeah, so um, the earlier you start, the better. So prevention, again, is better than cure, right? But if I were to ask yeah. you, um, <laughs> what would be a good time to really mm -hmm. look into this ageless program of yours? Mm -hmm. um, I know there's no specific yeah. a number, but mm -hmm. what's, um, what's a good jump start, siguro, mm -hmm. age or symptom? Okay, so most people seek anti-aging services in their mid-30s. Yeah. That early? Yeah. Because actually, like uh, in women who experience perimenopause, yeah. that's when they feel sudden changes in their moods or their looks. That's why uh, even the Botox treatments sometimes are availed by women in their 20s. Actually, in the States, in the teens, palang, they do Botox already. Okay. Yeah. So this is available, this ageless mm -hmm. program is available for anybody who um, is starting to experience hormonal imbalance mm -hmm. or what would you say changes in the body uh, or appearance? Ex yeah, externally if people start to experience like uh, even like shallow types of wrinkles. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then energy-wise if people start feeling fatigued, uh, this is the time to look into their hormones mm -hmm. as well. So tell us how the treatment works. Let's start with mm -hmm. the men. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, basically before we start any treatment, we need to do testing just to make sure that there are no contraindications and our treatments are all individualized so let's say a treatment for one person would be different from another ones so depending on a lot of factors because everybody is genetically unique or what we call biochemical individuality mm -hmm. yes yeah, so after uh, testing uh, we go for treatment but um, of course, we explain the whole process just to make sure that everybody's aware of the uh, benefits as well as the side effects. But when you said a while ago that you need to test mm -hmm. first, what does this entail? What mm -hmm. do you test? Do you oh, get okay. blood to blood works mm -hmm. or? Yeah, initially we start with a questionnaire. Uh, this is like a screening test. Uh, for men, it's called the ADAM questionnaire or the androgen deficiency in aging men. So let's say if a man answers yes to two of the most important questions, which are, are you suffering from low libido or erectile dysfunction, most likely they have testosterone deficiency. And so that's when we ask them to have a blood test. Okay. And having the blood test 
has to be at a specific time because um, if you do it let's say um, before 8 o'clock in the morning or after 12 noon the results may be inaccurate really? yeah okay so there must be a specific time for yeah. this so talking about the ageless uh, men program what are the options available for them yeah so for men uh, we have uh, testosterone which is given in an injectable form because oral form of testosterone could actually cause liver problems. They used to have this metal testosterone form of testosterone and it was found out to cause liver issues. So okay. the injectable form is better and there is also a form in which uh, it's implanted underneath the skin. It's called pellets. So it's uh, basically um, slowly absorbed into your system so you could have the pellets inserted once every four to six months. But this is just for the... For men. Yeah, for men, for yeah. the testosterone. Yeah. Okay, um, let's talk about, let's go to the women's mm -hmm. ageless program. Yeah. What does this entail? How does it begin? Yeah, so for women, again, we do the screening questionnaire followed by the testing. And then we have to take note their last menstrual period because the levels of your hormone varies every day. So from that, we would create a program for a woman depending on what they need. Because not everybody would need estrogen. Um, like uh, for instance, women who have estrogen dominance, these are women who have anxiety or they, have many, they may have like uh, excess menstruation mm -hmm. or fibrocystic uh, breast or fibroids in their uterus. These are women who have uh, estrogen dominance so they would need more of the progesterone hormone. Okay, yeah. so it really needs to be, the, the screening has to happen, mm -hmm. the testing has to happen, yeah. and every, this is all an individualized yes. test. It's mm -hmm. not a one-size-fits-all exactly. type of treatment. Yeah. How long do the treatments last? Um, well, as we age, the levels of our hormones uh, just continue to decline. So I would say indefinitely, but um, you would have to adjust the dosage as you grow older because sometimes um, the let's say liver function declines so the processing or the metabolism of these hormones also uh, slow down so you would have to adjust the dosage um, on a regular basis so at what age would you think women are more prone to hormonal imbalance uh, usually in their 30s but uh, like I said earlier, it could happen in younger women mm. who are experiencing PMS mm -hmm. or dysmenorrhea. I want to talk about this, yeah. um, the bioidentical treatments mm -hmm. for them. What is that? Yeah, bioidentical hormones are basically hormones that are similar to what our body produces. Because before they were using uh, something called Premarin, which is uh, equine estrogens, mm -hmm. meaning it comes from pregnant mares. So those are pregnant horses for those who don't know. Uh, so the um, molecular structure of uh, this equine estrogens are not similar to what our body produces. That's why it could cause more side effects long term. So now, what is mm -hmm. being used for this bioidentical? Yeah, what? so this one is more plant-based and they're identical to what our body produces. And they're actually derived from either soy or yam. So that's, that sounds, um, well, obviously it's natural. Yeah. And it sounds more <laughs> acceptable. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about stem cell therapy. Mm. Do you do stem cell therapy? Yes, we do. Tell us more about it. Yeah, so basically stem cells are primitive cells that would basically differentiate into other cells eventually. So um, it could be given in different ways. Uh, there are sublingual forms and injectable forms, um, either through the muscle or through the vein. And there are different sources. Uh, there's one called autologous, which is derived from our own bodies, and one that's xenogenic or that comes from animal sources. Let's talk about those two types that yeah. you mentioned a while ago. Um, what, uh, how does that work? Sublingual, sublingual form. Sublingual form. Yeah, so there's a sublingual form of cell therapy. Uh, this started actually from France. So th for those who want to avoid anything invasive, they might want to try this out first. Uh, people do get results even though it's not that invasive. But uh, even before we recommend cell therapy, 
we want to make sure that we address all the factors that could contribute to aging. For instance, nutritional deficiencies, hormonal imbalance, chronic inflammation, toxicities, all these contribute to the aging process. So if you take care of those, sometimes there, there may be no need to do the cell, stem cell. Stem cell. <laughs> as long as you do everything else, you might not have a yeah. need to do stem cell yeah. in the future. Just to clarify, when you say sublingual, what does that mm. mean? Uh, that would be under the tongue. Okay. Yeah. And then the other form is the stem cell, which is actually injected in the body, yeah. that, mm -hmm. that you also do. Right? Yeah. Okay. Tell us after each treatment mm -hmm. are you still around to take care and monitor the patients what happens after yeah it's important to do a constant monitoring of the patient just to make sure that they're actually getting results because uh, that's more important to us uh, is uh, our patient actually experiencing the benefits of these treatments and it's important to monitor as well just to make sure that they're not experiencing any side effects from the treatment. Tell us uh, for those who might still want to talk about and understand stem cell therapy, how does it um, help in the anti-aging process? Yeah, basically the stem cells stimulate our own uh, uh, organs to start working like it was when we were younger. Yeah, so that's how basically it uh, regenerates and rejuvenates our body. Why is, this is an important one, anti-aging therapy important in uh, delaying the onset and progression of uh, diseases? Yeah, so basically anti-aging medicine is more ultra-preventive medicine. So you don't want to experience the signs and symptoms associated with aging. So you want to be more proactive in taking care of your body. How can this um, improve possibly a person's quality of life? Yeah, so with anti-aging therapies, it, what it does is that it helps reverse your biological age. I know there's nothing we can do with our <laughs> chronological age, but uh, when you do improve your biological age, all the functions of your body, including your mental health, physical health, yeah. would all improve. It was just like you were younger again. Yeah. Right? yeah. <laughs> Dr. Joe, can you invite them again to look into your programs on anti-aging? Yeah, please do check us out at uh, jlopezmd.com. We also do have our social media platforms at Dr. J. Lopez MD on IG and Facebook. For those who might not be um, might not feel secure mm -hmm. or protected or they have concerns about mm -hmm. let's say stem cell therapy mm -hmm. what do you say to those people yeah I recommend that people do their research and not just listen to their doctors and this goes for any type of treatment or any doctor it's better to keep yourself informed and make a, a, the right decision for yourself make a well-informed decision or stem cell is a procedure that has worked for what Every single person who's done it? Um, mostly. But um, again, you have to take care of the basics before you actually go for the procedure. Because if you have a poor diet, poor lifestyle, and go for the stem cell, then you won't get optimal results. Your approach, uh, as I see it, is a very holistic approach. Mm -hmm. You just don't go to your clinic and mm -hmm. somebody can get stem cell. Yeah. You do the testing, you do the screening, you do the blood works, you do mm -hmm. the stem cell, and you do the post-care. Yeah, post-care is really important. 